Hey, you guys, how y'all feeling out there? I can't see you, but I can definitely feel your energy and hopefully you can feel mine. If you join it for the first time, welcome, and I appreciate you. If you wanna have some fun with your DJ sets and you wanna have some fun with your Serato, I definitely think this is a dope program. So with that said, I'm gonna get into how I'm gonna break this down because I'm gonna break it down into sections. I do have some issues with the interface. I think it's too much going on. So I'm gonna break down what I do in the sections. So that way you know what's what and that way you don't get overloaded with any information. So I'm gonna break it down into the top row. Then I'm gonna break it down into sample decks. Then from there, I'm gonna go into the step sequencer, the library and the arrangement view. With that said, let's get started with the top portion and what you see on the open up screen. So this is what it looks like when you first open a session. It asks you if you want a new beat or a new remix. If you select new remix, this is what it looks like. You'll get this screen, a large sample deck in front of you where you can drag audio into this deck. If you select a new beat, you get this screen. So you'll have the sample deck and the step sequencer side by side and beneath that you'll have your library to select drag and drop audio for this example we're just going to select new remix and this is just so that i can go over the top column here so when you first open up the program uh if you go to the very top column you're going to have your bpm it's pretty self-explanatory if you hover over the area it'll give you an option to tap tap tempo where you can tap your bpm in like that other than that you can dial it in to the bpm that you wish and you'll see more about that as i go into the sample decks then next to that you have your key option where you can change the key of the track um here you have e d sharp d c sharp c so on and so on this is your minor or major option Next to that, you have your effects panel where your effects will, your effects section will pop up underneath the sample deck or underneath the step sequencer. Next to that, you have the mix section where if you have several tracks going on at the same time, you tap on this mix button where you can adjust your volume, your gain, your highs, mids, lows, etc., etc. We'll get into that. I just want to stick to what each of these items are in the top column. Here you have your logo. To the right of that, you have the metronome. If you hover over it, it's gray. If you click on it, it'll turn purple, meaning the metronome is on. If you click on it again, it's off. To the right of that, you have your quantize icon. Yeah. If you click on it, it'll turn purple. Click it off, it'll turn gray. Here you have the time divisions for your quantize option, where you have the quarter notes, you have one eighth, one sixteenth, and one thirty-two. And to the far right here, you have your export option, where you can export your final complete, final completed projects. Any completed projects you do, you can export it here. If you click on it, it'll give you the options here: export song, export your master, or you can export stems here. And when you export a master, you can select whether you want it to be a wave or an mp3 then you have your help menu where you can show help text you can uh, show two topics show shortcut keys yada yada whatever those are and you have your settings here you go into your settings and they have any other settings that uh, any door would have where you have your audio options audio inputs outputs sample rates buffer size your MIDI controls library where you can show Serato library show your itunes library uh your plugins where you can scan all your plugins i'll get into that and your general tab where you can change your uh reverse the pad order you can show keys as classical drop down you can show them as the camelot key um send usage data etc etc and of course your profile um options and that's going to be just the top row of the Serato Studio. So now that we've done that, let's really get into the fun stuff. And um, we'll get into the sample deck of Serato, which is where you drag in your audio. 
See you in the next one.